Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to set a scale on your blueprint. Let's get started. To set a scale, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and select the scale button. Once we select this here, we can see that we have a couple different options. From here, we can see that we have our imperial, our metric. We can also see that, for example, we have set via page scale and also our manual scale off measurement. If we select, for example, our set via page scale, from here we can go in and we can select eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch. When we do select that item, you're going to see a disclaimer appear. This is basically going to tell us that the page scale is only as accurate as the digital file being used. We always recommend using two dimension lines or known measurements after setting the scale, utilizing the dimension tool that you'll find under the tools button to ensure that that scale was set properly. For today's demonstration though, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this manually. Once we select our manual, we're going to need to go through here and find a dimension line. We always recommend using something longer than 20 feet if possible. For this example, I'm going to actually use the out to out, which I can see here is 55 feet, 10 and 1 eighth. So if I simply come through here and select 55 feet, 10 inches and 1 eighth, I can now go ahead and select the start button. Prior to doing that, you also notice that you can apply this scale to all pages. If you decide to use this, just like the auto scale, you're going to want to make sure that you use the dimension tool, once again located under the tools button, and check two known dimensions or known measurements to ensure that that scale was set correctly for that page. Let's go ahead and hit start. From here, I'm going to go ahead and pan up by right clicking, and then I'm going to zoom in by either using pinch to zoom or rolling in on my mouse. Once I do this here, I simply select my start button. If at any point I was to accidentally click another location and set the scale incorrectly, I can just simply repeat this process. From here, I'm going to go ahead and pan to the right by simply right clicking and dragging the page. I'm then going to zoom on the final destination here and select this point. You'll now see that a blue indication line indicates that I've set the scale to the 55 feet, 10 and an eighth. That's it. It's just that simple. Thanks for watching today's video. 